Hey there everyone, guess what? It's summer break, so that means I'll be able to do more videos this summer than I used to be able to do during the school year. So that's kind of awesome. So the first video I'm going to be doing this summer is this video, and this video is going to be really fun to try to cut and edit together later today because it's over the application called Synergy. Now what Synergy does is it lets you use one keyboard and mouse connected to one computer to control two, three, four, as many computers as you want to. However, I'm only going to do two because even two is way too much work to edit and put everything together. So, how do you get Synergy? Well, there, there are download links in the description for Mac and PC and various distributions of Linux. Um, when we're on the PC part getting it, it will have all of them. However, for the Mac, we don't use the normal Synergy, we use something called Synergy KM. Now Synergy KM basically puts a preference pane in so that you don't have to go through the terminal and do all that stuff. So, click on the download button on the Synergy KM download site and wait five seconds for the link to come up, or whatever, and then it will download. Okay? So, after it is done downloading, which we'll just give it about five more seconds here and it should be done, and there we go, it's done. You'll get a little window called Synergy Cam version number whatever installer. Just double click on the installer, click open, uh, choose what you want. You can choose to install Synergy for current user, for all users, or uninstall. I'm going to install it for all users and hit install. And I believe when you use all users, you must enter your password and I just did an upgrade so I don't really know what it does with the full thing but after you're done you can just close out of everything and go into your preferences now in this video I'm gonna be using the Mac as the host because I just find it way easier so go into your preferences and you will see a new preference pane called Synergy KM now this works on 10.5 and 10.6 and it should work on 10.7 when it comes out no promises though. So, when you get it, you'll have this little window here. Location default. General, you can turn Synergy on. You can choose to connect to something or share one. You can change the logging level, which I don't really even care about that. And you can tell it to show it in the status bar up here. Um, not. Oh, there it is. So there it is, and we'll just go to the server configuration, and I've already set this up. But basically what you do is you go here, you click the plus button, you name the screen, so we'll name this one Ubuntu, and then you can go to the options, you can change what the keys will do, you can go to the screen aliases, and then this is where you have to be really careful. Normally people just use the IP address, but that usually changes. So what you do is you find the host name of the machine that you're on, which depending on what machine you're using, it's definitely going to be different to find it, but for a Mac, you find it by going to the preferences and then going to sharing and then actually let me just do this you go to sharing and then you go edit and this is what you will type in mini.local for mine okay so let me go back to here um, it didn't save it so Ubuntu screen aliases add it would be ubuntu.local or whatever I name it hit done and then um, there's more options here if you want to do stuff but after that it should work and then you just hit apply now and it will add any machine whose host name is ubuntu.local to the right of Gavin laptop now I don't really have Ubuntu set up for that so I'm just gonna use the laptop so you can see I have the Mac mini on the left and the laptop on the right so we are all set up on the Mac. So we're going to go over to the PC now and we're going to download Synergy on the PC. So if you have Windows you can choose here. If you have Mac use the Synergy KM that we talked about earlier. There's Ubuntu and Debian and Fedora and Red Hat. Now I'm currently running 1.3.4 so I'm just going to update to the latest stable version and I'm running 32-bit Windows. So I will save the file and then and then once it's done you just double click on it and it should just open it but mine doesn't so I'll have to double click on it here click run and then it will take you through all this you just choose where you want to install it 
and it will take a little bit to install and then once it is done you will get this window and it will just say close and then you're done so we're gonna set up Synergy on the PC now it should show up here if it doesn't just go and search for it so I will start Synergy and then you can just type in the name of the Mac or whatever other host you used and so this one's mini.local and then I think that's all you really need to do and so we'll just hit actually we don't hit anything yet we go back over to the Mac so we're on the Mac and we go to general and you click turn Synergy on and this might come up just say open and then look at the status and wait for it to say waiting for connections now go back over to the PC and hit start so in the notification area it will say synergy whatever not running or whatever and then eventually it will have a little thunderbolt icon on it so let me show status or whatever connected to mini.local so now you can see both of my screens so I'm just gonna close this and you can see I'm using the Mac's mouse well if I drag it to the right side of the screen and just keep going it will just go right over to the PC screen so I can be working on the PC uh, uh, while I'm using the Mac's keyboard and mouse so I can type something on the PC and then I can actually copy this and go over here and launch text edit and I can actually paste it so that is really neat that is actually the main reason why I use Synergy so that I can copy links from my Mac to my PC and back so that I don't have to shrink them or type them out letter by letter or whatever so it's actually really fast um, of course the main reason for Synergy is to use one keyboard and mouse so that you don't have to touch the other computer's keyboard or mouse so that you can just have a computer there with nothing attached to it and you can just keep working on it without having to plug in a keyboard and a mouse so I've gone on long enough Synergy Cam and Synergy is awesome um, also I kinda of forgot to mention this you have to keep both the computers on the same network that's something that people really try I don't even know why they try without that but you have to have them both on the same network these are both on the same wired network connected to the same router and I don't know maybe you can get it over wireless I've never really tried but if you try to do it over wireless don't come whining to me when it doesn't work because I can't guarantee it will so anyway um, that's about it thanks for watching this video um, I look forward to making more videos this summer than I did over the normal year and hopefully you will see me around here a lot more often so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time